Hi. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to thank for the, the, the invitation from the organizer, organizers of, of the Biohackathon. And this is my first time to attend this, this workshop. And I'm glad to, to, to enjoy this. And my name is Zhi uh, Xiuhui from NCBI. Today I would like to present our current project, which is named Hot Data uh, for assisting the data circulation and some beyond testimony research. And this is our pop eater team. I'm the author of the pop eater, and Robert Neiman is a uh, is the is the author of two uh, testimony tags, and which has been embedded in pop eater. And Dr. Zhou is our PI. <coughs> As we know, PubMed uh, is the biggest uh, literature, uh, biomedical literature repository in the world. And <coughs> to, therefore, to extract information from such a uh, huge uh, repository is very important. So, uh, to, to, uh, to recognize the user need from, uh, from, the, user, uh, from the user results is very important. And in this figure, we can see uh, without the author, uh, chemical gene and disease are the most important and popular trends in PubMed uh, queries. So, we, we define several key concepts, including the three uh, key concepts I just said in the user uh, query log results. And also, we tend to different, uh, we to attend a panel. Uh, to in the, uh, addition concept, which is a variation and species. And once we define five key concepts, the next things we would like to do is to recognize those information from the literature, from the abstract. So, we define five individual recognition tools to recognize those results. And one thing what I like to mention is three of the systems are the test mining, uh, Competition winning tools and creative uh, <coughs> and e health. Once we got the results of the in, in PubMed of the of those uh, negative results, and we would like to think about the next step, what we can do with the with those results. And actually, we can do two things. So the first thing is to use those data to assist the uh, curation. On, on literature. The second thing is once we recognize those terms, then we can help the uh, some uh, downstream test mining research. So we developed a tool which we can talk here to integrate those tools, those results of uh, from those tools. Then um, um, I uh, but I mean, I would like to mention that I, we have already used those five tools process the whole part aspect and save the results in part here so that user can easier to use a part here to access all the annotation results. Okay, and this slide is going to show uh, the part here search page. Uh, in this page, uh, we, we provide a standard part and search function and also provide an anti specific a semantic search, which is different from the PubMed search, because the PubMed search would know that use match term for the semantic search. But here we don't do that. What we do here is uh, for this example, uh, the input is a ER E2, which is a, a breast cancer gene. And in the first article, there is no ER E2. But one thing in HDR2 is shown this abstract. In, in PubMed, in, uh, this article will not be recognized, um, will not be extracted from, from the PubMed results. But here, we can recognize that because we return all the articles with at least one segment of that protein. <coughs> and this is the PubTaker duration function. Which provide users to curate the articles, like the document triage to curate is that document uh, suitable for the curation or not. 
and also we allow users to use the the, the, the table to curate the bar concepts and also allow them to annotate the bar relation. And all the relation and concept user can define by themselves. <coughs> and here what I'd like to show is to uh, are two examples the uh, which uh, are uh, very success uh, usage in in huge navigator and with both both two uh, both two uh, institutes are using our tools our uh, for for the gene and protein results recognition. And here what I to mention is in addition to help the bio creation, Parker is also can do something for the test mining research by the relation between like the gene disease association of a chemical induced a disease. Um, so how to do that? Um, we are not only providing a particular uh, visualization function, but also we provide two. Uh, we provide an FTP annotation archive, which uh, save all of the annotation results. Of the of the five uh, five concepts, including gene disease, chemical species, and mutation, and also we provide user a restful API, which is updated today, and user can download the results and uh, uh, by by a simple simple URL. And here is a figure where I show you more deep, more specific how the uh, the the restful API works. Uh, we provide user two options. The first option is a uh, user can input any kind of test uh, test input like pattern, uh, medical records, or or extra or full text. Then we can use the REST for API protocol to help to 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 uh, obtain the results and use our tools to recognize the results and return immediately. Otherwise. We can allow user to input a PMID, then return the results. So uh, here is an example of uh, how we can use simple um, instruction to re to get the results. And here, uh, here is uh, the the blue part is the text, uh, which is a uh, is a JSON format uh, followed by a part annotation. And the red part is the tool we would like to use for the recognition. Once we submit this request, we can get a session number. Then we can use that session number to check the progress. Once the progress is finished, then you will get the results as below. So um, actually, our our REST API just announced. Uh, at the earlier of April, but until now we have millions usage so that uh, from whole, uh, the whole world. So uh, we hope we can help the the test mining uh, research and and development. And thanks very much. Yeah.